All right, everybody. <laughs> there. Okay. Unmute. I can't unmute you. Okay. Um, no big deal. Technical difficulties. My name is Erin Fluharty. I am the star director for Exclusively Wickless, family of teams. Okay, Amanda, I am going to mute you now that we've figured out that I can. Okay, but, um, okay. So just starting out, um, I wanna make sure everybody knows that this is our very first new consultant training. Um, I am trying um, to incorporate more more training, more entry level, more basic things um, to get us all on the same page to all of us leading to the same success. And um, I've been with Sensi since um, officially 2012, but I reinstated in 2014. I have been going constant since 2014, so five years in October of this year. So me going back to basics helps me in many many ways because there's a lot of things that i forget about and so i wanted to kind of start off the summer with a a, a learning opportunity for all of us and for those of us that have just recently joined uh, sensi uh, this is going to be a great um, entry level training uh, for you and this is completely open forum julie i know you're so far, you're the only one on here that has never been on a Zoom with us. I want you to know you're 100% welcome to say anything and everything whenever you'd like. Uh, please chime in. Do not feel like you just have to sit and listen to me because um, <laughs> it's not going to be fun for everybody. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> anyway, any anytime anybody does log in, I'll make sure to reiterate what I just said most of the time. And uh, and I think that's about it. Um, so, new consultant training. Julie, when did you, I'm gonna unmute you. When did you, oh, I can't unmute you. Okay, you're gonna have to unmute yourself. <laughs> it worked, we did it. When did you officially join Sensi? Um, I just joined on the 10th. Great, so. okay, so you, you're probably one of the newest, for sure. That's awesome, okay. So, um, so what's really important, and, and I won't put you on the spot too many more times, I promise. <laughs> um, okay, so what's really important for all of us to know is that whether you're a brand new consultant, someone who's been with Sensi for a long time, or you're newly recruiting, like you've never recruited, or you wanna learn a little bit more about recruiting, it's really important that we all understand how to train. So this is training for it's what I consider train the trainer because all of you all will be able to listen to, to me and to anybody who has input <clears throat> to be able to learn a little bit better how to train the basics. And right now we're training the basics for anyone that's brand new. Okay, so when you first join Sensi, obviously you hit the join button, right? You've got your website created, you've put your uh, account together, You've, you've uh, logged, you've been able to get your email that helps you to log into your workstation. <clears throat> so from there, you're gonna have what they call a first things first checklist. And that is something that for the first 70 days will be your guideline for, um, for basically everything and anything that you need to know how to do or what to do for Sensi. And you're gonna get emails from um, uh, home office. And so you won't have to worry about, well, my sponsor didn't do this or well, my sponsor didn't tell me this. Usually, you, right now, we're in the best place possible when it comes to the amount of training that we have from Sensi that we're really, really lucky. People that have been with Sensi a long time didn't get the kind of training that we have now uh, or, or orientation as, as probably a better word that you're gonna end up getting emails upon, not tons and tons of emails, but you'll get a few here and there for the first week and then it'll kind of, it'll um, spread out a little bit um, through your 70 days. So, but what's really important is that we all decide on the, the most common things that need to be done. Whether you're training your train, whether you're training a new consultant or you are a new consultant listening tonight. So, Obviously, when you have somebody come on and they have just joined, they've got that, you need to make sure they know they have the email, 
<clears throat> they need to go into their workstation and make sure their payment information is uh, correct on their account tab. And they need to make sure that they have their website active. It should be active, but you wanna make sure that it says, you know, you go under your edit my website, edit my personal website, and that's where you can actually incorporate a picture, which I highly suggest making sure it's personal. You have your own picture, so you upload a picture, and you have a little story about why you joined Sensi, <clears throat> what drew you to Sensi, what your goal is with Sensi, uh, why you love Sensi. Because people that start to look for Sensi consultants in your area are going to be drawn to people who aren't just a warmer or a Sensi logo or whatever somebody might put in place of a personal picture of either them or themselves and their partner or themselves and their family. So, or the fur babies. I know <coughs> Jill has a really cute picture. Jill is one of our um, uh, consultants on our team that has a really cute picture of her and her dog. And I think it's actually, is it, Ot I think it's Otis and uh, Milo are in the picture. Um, Cause it was her, I think her most recent profile picture and it was really cute. So anyway, um, I always like to make sure that it's, it's very important that we focus on the baby steps. So getting your website created, making sure that you have those few things added, making sure your account tab has your payment information on it because after three months, those of you that have just joined, you have three full months of a free website. <clears throat> so for the next three months, for you, Julie, you'll have uh, 90 days, three months of your website for free that you can just share your website and people can, you know, order online. Um, <clears throat> and after that 90 days is up, it's only $10 each month for your website. One thing I want to point out is there, are, there is a difference between the workstation and your website. So when you go to your workstation, it's got all kinds of news on it, it's got your numbers on it, it's got your checklist on it. Excuse me. Um, well, when you go to your website, it's actually what your, your clients are going to see. You would never send your client to the workstation because they're not gonna be able to log in. You'd send them to your website. So, that'll be where you'll showcase your products and they'll be able to learn a little bit more about any type of samples you've given them and um and what the scents come in what type of scents we have and and the types of products we have and what types of scents they come in so <clears throat> okay so now that you have your website ready to go and uh you're all signed up you've got everything kind of back office done you typically want to announce in some way that you've joined Sensi. And this isn't gonna be some salesy, pushy, shady thing. I think a lot of people think, oh, I don't wanna use my personal page for that. I don't, want, I don't want everybody to know. I don't wanna look like I'm being salesy. Truly, this is just about your excitement. Obviously, there's a reason you join Sensi. So that's gonna be the reason you're going to promote it, whether it's, wanting to retire, wanting to add extra income to your family or pay off debt. So those are going to be all like, there's a reason. Everybody has a reason and it's what, what you call your why with Sensi. And those are going to be the reasons you're going to want to shout out that you just joined. So make sure, hi, Melissa, how are you? Make sure that you are, um, Noting that in some way, whether that's a text message, an email, a phone call, or on social media. So, um, so anyhow, that's, that would be my very first step, is letting everybody know that you are a new consultant with Sensi, And maybe even talk about what, what your hopes are, what your plan is with Sensi, because that, that way people can associate with you. So for me, when I first started out, I'll tell you my why, and, and now that it has changed, I'll tell you it again. So, Amanda, stop your aggressive driving. <laughs> so when I first started, I was a, um, I just had a two month, I have a two month old baby at the time, five years ago, should be five in, in August, and um, I 
I was typically a, a career woman. I, I thought I was going to go back to work. I moved to South Carolina. I was pregnant and, um, well, I was pregnant and then she came, of course. And two months later, I joined Sensi. So it was kind of the where I, I needed something for me. I needed to feel like I was giving to my family. I was, I was contributing some way. So, you know, whether it was a couple hundred dollars or if it was, you know, grocery money or gas money for the month, whatever it was, that's what I wanted to be able to give. Well, then my business grew and I've been able to work full time with Sensi, um, or what we call full time. It's not 40 hours a week, but I've been working that same consistent type of business for the last five years. And so over the time that I have developed a team, I have, um, my income has increased and um, things have changed with my family. We bought a bigger home. Um, you know, my, my children were in a private Christian school for preschool. And I was able to um, accommodate some extra things because of Sensi. So things change. And so your why is always going to change. May not change quickly, but it will. So... Um, that's very important to note though. It's, it's something you want to include on your website because I think the more personal you are, the more people will be drawn to you. Okay. At that point that you have announced what's going on in your life, you've obviously, you know, you've got your website squared away. You're going to be making sure that you are scheduling your launch party. Okay. The launch of your business is going to be what's going to make or break your first 15 days success. If you can get your launch party set up within your first 15 days, you should by now have learned a little bit about some of the awards that there are. We have a shooting star award. That's going to be $500 in sales in your first 15 days. So that's pretty much one party. Uh, sometimes they're less, sometimes they're more, but 500 is a pretty solid party. So you want to have that goal of reaching that first, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm very driven by goals and challenges and nobody can tell me no, that you can't do that. Like I'm always the type that says, okay, I'm going to get it done. If I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. So $500 in sales in the first 15 days will get you to shooting star. That's your first step. Once you get to your shooting star, there is a, um, <clears throat> a package deal basically that you can buy for $200. It is not another starter kit. It is merely an opportunity for you to gain product for a very low cost. It is not something you have to do, uh, but it is $200 and it includes a multitude of things. And I'm actually going to make a unit on our Facebook group that's going to say new consultant info and under that will show you the what the kit looks like but it does include a diffuser which you guys know is hundred and thirty dollars so right there you can see a hundred and thirty dollar product in a two hundred dollar kit it's a substantial amount of savings because there's a warmer there's counter clean there's bathroom clean I'm sure there's a bunch of different things <laughs> that I am even aware of because I didn't take a look at the full Amanda there's a Cynthia going there too there's a Cincy Go. Okay. I'm almost positive there's on there. Okay. Well, so I, I just have the two items. <laughs> yeah, just the two items together. So the Cincy Go and the Diffuser equal $200, give or take. So I'm I'm 180. Sure there. Okay. Technical difficulties. Right. We're having a hard time understanding Amanda. <laughs> she must be in Goose Creek. <laughs> anyway, okay, so this is not something you have to buy. This is something that is a, um, an accomplishment, a package for those that become, get to shooting star, if you want it. If you don't want it, it's no big deal. You will still get a pen or a charm. Um, no, I'm sorry. Yes, you'll get a charm with your bracelet. You'll get a, a Sensi bracelet that you will get a shooting star charm and then you're, you can also order the kit if you'd like. Then the next step from there is sensational star award. Obviously, if you guys um, have not checked out your consultant 
handbook, I highly suggest it because that's going to showcase what you need for each level. Level three is the highest, level two, middle, and level one is the lowest. Um, so take a look at that. If you have uh, misplaced your consultant guide or you need more information on that, I will actually include the Sensational Start breakdown on our Swissly Wickless page too. Um, but Sensational Start does depend on your PRV, which is your own volume. So PRV is the main acronym you want to look at. It's personal retail volume. And so that's how much you say, sell. And um, you know that the charitable cause products, the um, Disney products, the uh, college products, um, the baseball products, all of those are going to have a small amount that's going to be contributed to that organization. So we actually get a little less PRV from those sales. So just keep that in mind when you are submitting your orders that you do need 200 to uh, close a party. So if you do have something, um, I'm sorry, let me backtrack. Doesn't matter about your closing of parties, it's when it comes to the amount you want for your paycheck, right? So we want it, we were getting paid off of our PRV. So you wanna look at that and make sure your PRV is where you want it to be. So if you ended up selling a product that maybe is a charitable cause product, and I think it's eight, seven or eight dollars that's given right now um, to the organization. So you could be seven or eight dollars short of whatever goal you were going for if you did not keep that in mind. Okay. Sorry if I was confusing there, I hope I wasn't, but if I was, let me know. Okay, so the other sales, and there's two other awards and recognition. There's, you get the monthly sales for two, selling $2,000 per month. Now, for those of you that don't know this, even if you've been with Cincy a little while, if you sell $2,000 in a month, you actually get a boost in your pay. You'll, so starting out as an essential consultant, you come in at 20%. Once you hit certified, which is your next step, so you have certified as a certified consultant, you've sold $1,000 in product, so 1,000 PRV, you actually get an increase of commission percentage to 25%. So from 25%, Always, you'll always make that 25%. Now, if you sell $2,000 in one month, and you can do that every single month if you want to, you'd actually get paid 30% on your sales. So you can guarantee yourself, if you always wanted to just sell, 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 if you sold $2,000 every month, you get at least $600 in cash, $600 in your paycheck. So that would be your monthly sales award. I'm just trying to go over the awards and recognition and didn't talk about the compensation plan change. Sorry about that. Okay, so your sales award, monthly sales award, would be given to you if you sold $2,000 in a month. And those, a lot of people get every month. So you can do that every month if you wanted to. Um, there is top sales out of the entire uh, company. There is also uh, a number one sponsor, or top sponsor, sorry, top sponsor. And then there's also, you'll get your lifetime PRV award too. So there's 10,000, 50,000, and 100,000 PRV earned. So um, keep that in mind. There are two other very important awards that uh, I like to make sure to mention. And uh, one is called the Annual Sales Excellence Award. The other one is called the Annual Mentor Award. And I, when I first started, I didn't know anything about these. And I actually didn't know anything about the next award I'm gonna talk to you guys about. But the Annual Sales Award and the Annual Mentor Award are pretty extraordinary accomplishments. The Annual Mentor Award is when you personally recruit 14 or more people in one year and they all achieve the title of certified or higher. 
So basically, if you recruited everyone, if you recruited one person every month and then had a couple months where you recruited two and they all certified, you'd get annual mentor. If you earn annual mentor, it's broken down by the title that they get, but for every person that is certified, they get tw you get $25 for each. For everyone that's leader, sorry, lead or higher, you get $50 for each. So just keep saying that in mind. It is a substantial accomplishment, but you also get paid to do it. So uh, keep, keep that in mind. I, I personally, I, I try and go for it every year. It's, um, it's one of those things that, you know, it's a goal. If you have a goal and you want to make it happen, you can do this every single year again. Okay. And it's actually started May 1st. This is every year May 1st and ends April 30th. Okay, the other thing is the Annual Sales Excellence Award. It means you sell $30,000 in a year, 30,000 PRV, and you actually get $1,000 as a, a um, gift, as a prize, and you get a trophy. And you get a, a trophy for Annual Mentor too. <laughs> and again, the qualification period is May 1st through April 30th. So um, they're, they're, this is pretty, um, pretty extraordinary. Circle of Excellence. I didn't know what this was until somebody randomly mentioned it and I said, what is that? Well, Circle of Excellence is like the highest you can get with Sensi. So Circle of Excellence is awarded when a superstar director has six, first generation superstar directors. Okay. So superstar directors, the highest level in the company. And imagine you having six superstar directors directly under you that you recruited and they got to the highest level. You'd have a free incentive trip every year when you maintain your rank of superstar director, you get a leadership registration for free. You get free world tour every year, free family reunion. These are all kind of conferences that people go to. Um, and then free superstar director summit registration. So pretty much everything you want to go to that Sensi puts on, you can go for free in the circle of excellence. There are, I think only three or four people in the circle of excellence right now with, you know, and we have thousands, thousands of uh, consultants on our team, on our, within our organization. So keep that in mind. I didn't know what that was. And I wish, I kind of wish I had known, maybe I, I I'm not going to move any quicker, you know, with, within my promotions or anything, but it's kind of nice to know that, Hey, that's out there. That's pretty cool to be able to say you're, you're within the circle of excellence. So, um, anyhow, and even if you just started, like Julie just started, what, three days ago, two days ago, whatever it is. <laughs> you never know what could happen. You really don't. So I always like to make sure you have more information than not. Okay. All right. So those are all the awards we talked about. We want to go back to the scheduling of your launch event. So that's when you're going to want to decide how you're going to launch your business. And this is a business. It can be a hobby, but it is a business. It is something that you're going to make money doing. So whether it's a couple hundred dollars a month or you know, $50 a month, whatever, whatever you need, or it could be thousands of dollars per month. Do you know that people make tens of thousands of dollars every month with Sensi? One person, one person could make a substantial paycheck very quickly with Sensi. So um, keep that in mind. Um, compensation plan seems very um, not understandable, but it's very easy once you break it down to where you're at and where you want to be. Okay. Okay. Before you launch your event, decide where, what, you, what type of event. I don't know about everybody here, but I highly suggest it being in person. If you can do a home party or a party somewhere like a Starbucks or a Panera with friends, um, whether it's, you know, a handful of people or if it's 20 people, 
uh, I definitely suggest a in-person launch event. Okay, so from that, that's when you're gonna basically set up the event, however you're gonna do it. You either have it on Evite, you can do, I think there's a called Punch Bowl now as another little invitations um, program, but then also Facebook, or just sending people text messages or email. Um, the multitude of options there with uh, how you invite your friends and family. But make sure it's personal. Make sure they know that you want them there, that not 260 sums of your finest and closest Facebook friends, because <laughs> you don't want to have 200 and some odd people in your house, right? Or wherever you end up, whether it's a restaurant or Starbucks or maybe a local church or a library. Libraries have community rooms too, so keep that in mind. Um, I think it's really important that you focus solely on your launch event and making sure people understand how much this means if they come to support you. It's not about how much you sell, but it's about you sharing the product and getting to know the product. And whatever comes in your starter kit is all you need, okay? So you'll want to make sure that you invite your guests, that it's personalized, you're reaching out and you're saying, you know, hey, Amanda, I really want you to be at my, my Sensi event, my Sensi um, launch party. It's really important to me. I hope you'll be there. And you can send that same message to everyone, but make sure they, you get it somewhat personalized, okay? From that point, you're going to basically set it up on your workstation. You go under your orders tab. This is going to help you show have, have the link show up on your website. So orders tab, and you'll have new order. It's very simple. Type in Julie's launch party, and you type in, um, you don't even have to type in anything else after that. You just make sure your information is there and that it's going to be the hostess is the consultant. And anyone that buys from that party, you'd actually benefit from because you're going to gain the hostess credit. So you're going to be able to do this every single month. You could have a online party where everybody's ordering from your website and you gain the hostess credit. I do this every single month. I have three and four parties per month that are mine that I get the host credit. So keep that in mind that you're benefiting from this, not only in your, your, um, your PRV, but also your commission. So think about where you want to be on July 10th when we get our, our next paycheck. So, um, okay, so you've got your orders tab, new order, enter your information, um, you, can, you can hit next, 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 and then you choose your date that it ends. And I like to make sure to reiterate that even if you choose a date, it just means it's just gonna stop showing up on your website. So pick a date, I would choose the end of the month, even though you might close it earlier, choose the end of the month so that you know it's always gonna show until the end of the month. Okay, so when you are telling people about your party, letting them know, hey, I've got a, a, a link set up on my website. Take a look. If you wanna place an order, great. If you can come, I'd rather you be in person and get to see some of the product um, and then get to you know, order from me at the party. Now, one thing that's very important that we all remember is that if you, when you have your launch party, everyone that's attending would be considered local, okay? So they're local people that are coming to your home or Starbucks or whatever, and you're gonna actually take their order manually. You're gonna write it down on an order form, okay? These are just for you. So whether you write crazy, just so you can read it, doesn't matter. But make sure that when you're getting your orders, you're filling out their name and all their basic information and their phone number. You don't have to have their email, but that, that's really nice to be able to add them to what we also get from Sensi, a free newsletter every month. Sensi writes it and emails it out to everyone on our workstation contacts list. So keep that in mind, as long as the email is correct, all of your clients will hear from you every single month. Okay. All right. So order forms, when you have an order form in front of you and you're taking a manual order, you can let them know that they don't have to worry about paying shipping because it's going to come to your house. 
And this is, this is solely how I run my business. Maybe other people run theirs a little bit differently. If anybody wants to chime in with their own ideas, let me know. But when you have a party locally, you'd write all the, the order forms out, you'd enter it into your workstation, where you go in and you add each individual guest, and you add their order under their name. It's gonna have their guest information, it's gonna be their name, everything on the order form, okay? Once you have entered all that, it's going to store those names. You're never going to have to re-enter those names again. You'll be able to add them to a party every time they buy from you, whether it's a party, quote unquote, or it's just you're collecting orders throughout the month. Okay, and then you can make it a party as long as, as, long as it reaches 200 in order, $200, 200 PRV. Okay, so you're at your launch party. You've, you've, you've done all the preparation, you've set up, you've got everybody there, you're showcasing your starter kit. You're obviously going to have some type of help from your sponsor to explain maybe how, how you, you know, run it. If you want it to be very, very casual, I typically will sit down with everybody and just sniff testers and answer questions. Um, you can be more straightforward and tell them, hey, you know, I'm, I'm whoever you are and a little bit about yourself. Um, it's kind of up to you how you want to run it. And it's going to take a little time for you to figure out exactly how you want to run your own launch or your own parties in general. So, so you're going to make sure you have your setup good to go. And when you have, um, okay, so it says, welcome your guest share your story, and you're gonna be introducing the product. So that's when you're going to be able to get your orders from the party, is when you've, when you've explained what the products are like, what you have used personally is probably gonna sell the most, I'll be honest, because if you are confident in the product that you're using, that you've been sold on this already, that you're gonna be able to sell other people on it. So that's what's called sharing Scentsy. So you, you would have everything good to go. You're gonna be introducing the product. You're gonna be collecting your orders. I jumped forward to the collecting of orders because it's important that you understand that not only are you getting your commission and you're getting the host credit, your PRV is very important each month. So, for those of you that have joined that maybe are looking for this as a side hobby um, and you only want to put something in every four months, you need to have $200 in sales in one month out of four. It can't be $50 every month, okay? It has to be $200 in one month out of a four consecutive months. If you go all this month, all next month, the month after that, and you haven't put anything in, you have to put something in that, that next month, otherwise you go inactive. So that's why I'm just talking about PRB and then the amount that you need, talking about your orders, making sure that you're upselling. That's really important at parties because that's going to increase your PRB. Does everybody know what upselling is? If you don't know what upselling is, it basically means if somebody says they want two bars, this is really bad. Carla, girl, you know me. I'm going to six. I'm not going to that three for 17. I'm going to six. You want to bundle and say that? You buy five, you get one free, okay? <laughs> I don't ever tell anybody about a three pack. I'm sorry. We don't have a three pack anymore. We used to not have a three pack. We had, did not have a three pack for a little while. It was great, actually just got me used to always upselling to, you know, from two bars to six. So, um, but you can do that with a lot of things. You can do that with the scent circles, the scent packs, the car bars. Um, I think the pods just come in two pack or a, no, it's a, is it a three? I think is it a three and a six. Okay. Anyway, so there's obviously a huge um, bundle and save section that you want to look at when you're, when you're talking with your clients, because that's going to be a really, helpful way for you to upsell your products. Um, so somebody wants a warmer and a bar, I'd say, why don't you do a Scentsy system? 
you get a warmer and three bars and you actually save, I think it's $5. So, um, so yeah, that's really important. Bundle and save. So you're sitting with your people, you're telling them, okay, no one has to pay for shipping. If everybody's okay with it shipping to my house, I will make sure to package everything up. Oh, let me note something. Every time you have an order, you will not get bags in your box unless you add what's called customer order bags. They're a dollar. You get, I want to say 10 or 12 and it's truly worth it because you won't need that many for the, the order that you will. Hey, maybe you will. Maybe you should get two packs <laughs> if you're going to have like 20 people at a party. But, um, some people go and they'll just buy Dollar Tree bags or they'll buy, you know, uh, go to Target when they need bags, whatever. But if you want just regular um, plastic bags, they're just plain, they're a dollar and I think you get 10 or 12. You wanna make sure to add that to your party before you, um, before you start adding people and then you might forget about it. And then you get all your stuff and you're like, what do I put everything in? So um, that's one thing I always do, and especially for out of state parties when they're shipping to my hostess. The best thing I can do for a hostess is send their bags because they're going to be really upset if they not only do they have to pack everything up, they don't have anything to put it in. So um, we used to get free bags, but um, for a while there, it was, it was a long story. We don't get, we don't get free bags anymore, but you can buy Scentsy bags uh, through the Scentsy Success Store, which um, you find by going to your workstation, signing in, it's the upper right-hand corner. It says um, Idea Share, Pay Portal, and then the Scentsy Success Store, or Scentsy Success. And you click on that. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the more times you go and you click, it's going to set up an order under your orders tab. So you can just go in and delete those orders, but every time you go there, it's gonna open another one. <laughs> so um, I highly suggest going to your orders tab often to make sure that you just clear those out because it's not gonna do anything, it's just gonna um, flood your, your orders with Sensi Success orders, but you're not really ordering anything. I don't know who else is type A OCD, but I like to have everything look nice and clean. So. I don't like all these boxes all over my screen, so I make sure to clear that out. Okay, so you can buy merchandise sacks, you can buy catalog sacks, and you can buy large merchandise sacks. I think that's what they're all called. Um, so there's three different sizes. I always get the, the, mer the regular merchandise sacks because that fits, that's what I usually put bars in or small washer whiffs. Um, the small items I'll put in, in there. Um, the bigger ones are good for diffusers and warmers and multiple items in a, a in one big bag. Okay. Um, I want to make sure I don't forget anything when it comes to entering the order. Make sure, please make sure when you're entering your orders and you go into your workstation, you're putting your guest information in. Um, it might be easier for you to go to your contacts tab and add the information there because all the information comes up on one screen. So you can put their name, address, cell phone, email, everything's there. But when you go into your orders tab, you actually have to click ship to client or ship to customer um, to put in their address. It's different than it used to be. So obviously this is gonna be something that is not gonna make any difference to anybody else except people who've just shifted to the new system. But we used to be able to enter all the information in the screen as we were adding each guest. And you can still do that, you just have to choose ship to, to client and then go back and say don't ship. For I think it does, I hope it does save the address because you don't wanna, you know, you don't wanna enter all these people and not put their information in. So that's pretty important. You want to make sure you can um, follow up with them. You have to have either your, their phone or their email or whatever. Okay, so very important. A lot of people um, don't learn that and they put them in under their name, their own personal name as the consultant, and then they just keep track by order form. 
and you're never going to have an opportunity to connect with those people if you lose your order forms. So just keep that in mind. Enter your orders with each guest separately. Okay. Bundle and save. Always upsell. That's huge. All right. Like I said, uh, for when you're setting up your party on the workstation, you do not have to worry about when the date is set. If you set it to the end of the month, you know it will just not show up on your website on the first of the following month. If you need to change the date, you can. There is nothing in the book of Sensi that says it's going to just delete everything that's on your workstation as a guest because you did not change that date. It's just gonna stay there. And the way it works is that once you've entered all your guests, your host base and your PRV should line up. They should be the same. Now you will have some on, if you have online orders, they will show up separately, but your host base number will be larger than your PRV because the manual orders are your PRV. Your online orders, you've already gotten counted uh, for your PRV. So you'll see that in your total for the month. And I'm, I'm using my hands because I'm thinking the screen and it's on your left hand side, there's a box and it's gonna have your PRV and your goal and how many recruits you have and um, your first things first checklist is there. So um, I'm just trying to like manually in my head think, okay, this is where it's at. So you'll see it. Okay. PRV, I just said, um, I lost my train of thought. Closing out orders. Sorry, y'all. Um, closing out the order and um, making sure you have everything in there at host rewards. So everyone knows that when you go to into your host rewards, you want to benefit from this. You want to get stuff that you want or that you might sample. So let me just make sure everybody understands. Sensi rewards are uh, starting out at the $200 mark. So when you have hit 200, your host base and your PRV should say at least 200. And then you'll start to see um, within that party, you'll see, okay, you have one, uh, one half off item, you'll have your perpetual, I'm gonna come back to that, and you'll have your free credit, which is at least $20. Now, when you bump up to 350 in sales, it's always 10%, so you get at least $35 in free product. So obviously, anywhere between 200 and 350, you're gonna get just a little bit more each time, okay? Once you hit uh, 350, it's $35, two half off items and you still get your perpetual. I'll come back to that again. <laughs> the 500 mark is where I always shoot for. If I can get my client to 500 or myself to 500, you get $75 worth of free product to spend just for yourself um, or for that client. That client should be really excited. They should have a wish list written, you know? We'll go over that in host coaching. Um, but, um, which I probably should have done before the, no, 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 never mind, never mind, because you're the hostess and the consultant for your launch party. Okay, so when you are looking at your host credit for $500, you've got your 75 in free product, you've got three half off items and your perpetual. Okay, for those of you that don't know what the perpetual is, it is a half off item. Now, Sensi gives us that perpetual for every, um, every party that we close. So for that $200 party, that $350 party, that $500 party, however many parties you close each month, they have to be at least 200, you'll get that perpetual no matter what. Um, so it's a half off item of your choice. Now you can either choose to use it for yourself, you can give it to your hostess, you could give it to somebody who you think will order, and you could say, hey, if you spend, you know, let's say $50, I'll give you an additional half-off item. So not, you're not having to be out of pocket on something. 
it's a really great perk for somebody you think would order from you. Now, if you use it the way Cincy meant it, and I just learned this this year, I did not know this, but the Perpetual is meant to book parties and they're giving it to you to book a party. So you would offer it to a hostess that books a party from that party and they get to choose a half off item of their choice. If, you know, they basically are, are getting a prize for booking a party, right? That's what Sensi set that up as. I never knew that. So here I am being able to give you this information that I just learned after being with Sensi for five years. So um, you just never know when you're going to learn something new. Perpetual reward is pretty awesome because you can use it on whatever you want. I highly suggest if you're going to use it for your for yourself to get something that's worthwhile, um, whether it's a, a product that you're going to use or a product that you're going to sample or a product that you're going to give as a gift. Um, make it something, I say big. I always try and say big. If you can't spend any extra money, then get light bulbs or give it to somebody and then they can use it, okay? The hostess credit, um, I will um, actually have a, um, I have a document that I, I just saved to my computer. I'm going to load it onto the unit that I'm about to make on our Facebook page that will actually break down what the host rewards look like when you enter them and how to type in in the bar for things to populate. But one thing I want to mention when it comes to your hostess credit is when you get to at least $200 in sales, you actually have the opportunity to flip the hostess. And you'll probably see this here and there uh, randomly, we'll mention it, but flipping your hostess means recruiting them, okay? So you would say, hey, Julie, I think you'd be really great at this. I think you should consider joining my team. And guess what? Because you had this party with me, you actually get our host exclusive kit and it's typically $59, but because you have $20 in free product, it's only $39. So when you, of course, as you get higher and higher, it gets less and less. So it's a $59 kit where they'll never pay more than 39. But if you get to that $500 mark, they actually will get the product, the, um, the kit 100% free, plus they'll have free product, to, free product credits left plus their three half off items if you choose to give them to them, which I obviously would if it was just, um, if it was a hostess. Now, you could go with the thought process of you collecting all of these orders, like I'm doing this month. My focus is I'm going to collect a bunch of orders and I'm going to offer somebody that's on my list of 100, which is actually only about 21 right now, but I'm gonna talk about this in a minute offer some, some, someone on your priority list of people you want to either vacation with or uh, go to events with, or you wanna just spend more time with, best friend, sister, brother, mom, dad, whoever it is, say, hey, Julie, I've got a, I've got a kit that is absolutely free because I collected enough orders um, to get this, this product kit for free for you. I think you'd be really great at this. Have you ever considered doing what I do? And then, you know, tell them, hey, I've only got a short period of time. If you're interested, I'd really love to be able to give this to you. No, no strings attached. Give it a try. You have nothing to lose. And you let them know a time limit. And then if they say no, then you just move on to your next person on your list and give yourself the opportunity to recruit someone. Even if you're just a few days old into Cincy, you know, um, it never ever hurts to get started early on recruiting because that's where you're going to make your money, your biggest money. You can make money off your sales, but the, the bigger your team gets, the more your paycheck will grow. Okay. We talked about, um, making sure you had your bags for your shipment when it comes in. You also wanna make sure you have labels, label everything. You can get, um, 
labels at Staples, Office Depot, wherever. <laughs> you can get, you can use the ones that you got from your starter kit. Uh, I actually have the print your own template that I'm going to upload to our um, team page. So you have that. And um, after those are all gone, you can order more if you like them. If you want to make your own at home, you can use avery.com. Uh, it's free. And you just type in, um, these are staples, but it's, um, let's see, they're, fit, they're compatible with 5160s, which is a, the Avery template. And I get just a big box of these as often as I need them, and I print from home. And that way, when you're ready to label things, like you can make little designs. These are my return address labels, but you can add little pictures. Um, you know, that way you can kind of keep track of, okay, I probably made these either around 4th of July or Memorial Day. There you go. Then you know how long you've had those, or I don't even know why I did it, but that way you know I've got everything labeled. I'm going to bag everything up. And the last thing you need to remember is, or second to last thing, make sure you do thank you cards. Always do thank you cards for your delivery bags. Um, something small. Um, you can actually get, I wish I had some right now with me. You can actually get packages of eight cards for a dollar at Target in their dollar spot, which is my absolute favorite place ever. So uh, if you do not have a Target or you do not want that small of amount, um, you could probably just order a big, big box off of Amazon, but I highly suggest thank you cards. And I also suggest as soon as you can um, get business cards, make sure you're ordering either through our Vista print portal or you can create your own at home. But Vista print, when you have never had an, a, um, an account with, with Vista print, you actually can get your first set of cards. I think you get 500 for like $10. And uh, I, I never had business cards and it was something that um, I just told myself I was never gonna, I didn't wanna spend any money until I was making money. And I always tell all of my teammates, don't, make, don't spend money until you're make, making money. But business cards are something you just, you really wanna have because you wanna put those with your samples and that's another thing you want to have in your delivery bags is some type of sample, whether it's, uh, you know, you're cutting up wax or you're putting wax in a wax into chocolate molds, or if you're just, um, you know, doing a laundry sample, if you're going to buy the samples that are already pre-made in the Cincy Success Store, those are all pretty important things because in that way you're getting some type of product in the client's hands that they haven't tried yet, hopefully. Um, okay, I feel like I've been talking a lot. Does anybody have anything that you want to incorporate with what I've been talking about so far um, before I move on to my next portion? Of course you don't, of course. You don't wanna add anything, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Something that's incredibly important, y'all, just as important as your launch party is your follow up. I've got a few people here who are not on screen, but Carla, do you have a follow up system? Yes. Okay. Good. All right. So, what we consider follow up is when somebody purchases something from us and we wanna know what they think of it and we want them to buy more. Okay, so the first step is making sure that they've gotten their product. So let's say um, scenario A, you're, um, they order on your website, it's being shipped directly to them, you let them know their tracking information, that's a really great way for a touching point. So they've made the order, you've thanked them already, and then you have your tracking information and you actually can get that on your orders tab. Okay. And you can send that to them in a quick text. Hey, Marcy, your order's on its way. Here's your tracking information. It'll be there on Friday. Easy. And then on Saturday you say, Hey, Marcy, did you get your order? Did it arrive as expected? Follow up. Easy. 
So the, the scenario A is you can do one, one, three. There's two different scenarios. So one, one, three is one week, one month, three months, one, one, three. So the one week mark, you want to check in. Hey, Marcy, I just wanted to check in, make sure you're loving your Scentsy products. Um, what do you think of that warmer? Isn't it the cutest? Where did you put it? Do you have a picture? Will you send me one? I'd love to share it on my, um, on my um, social media. See if Marcy will send you a picture. Okay, that's it. That's it. Nothing, not, no sale. We know we just want to make sure that they're happy. At the one month mark, if they're totally in love with Scentsy, they're probably going to come back to you with a sale before that. But if they haven't, the one month mark, you typically would say, hey Marcy, I'm just checking in. I wanted to see what you're thinking uh, when it comes to your Scentsy stash. Are you loving all of your scents? What have you run out of? And what is your favorite? You could just leave it open-ended. Don't expect a sale, but you, prob you may get one more than likely you'll get one. I have people who order and then within a week when they haven't even gotten their order yet, they're already ordering again. So, um, so it does happen. Uh, don't expect it all the time, but it does happen every once in a while. Okay, so the three month mark. Obviously, if somebody just bought one bar of wax, they're gonna be in touch with you before the three month mark. But if they have like, let's say 12 bars and three or four warmers, they might really need Scentsy earlier than you expected. But the three month mark is usually when somebody purchases again. So that, 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 that's gonna be when you're gonna say, hey Marcy, it's Erin, your Scentsy girl. I just wanted to check in and let you know that I'm putting in a Scentsy order and I thought of you. I thought it, you might be in need of more Scentsy. Let me know. Don't be pushy. Don't be super salesy. And if they say, nope, I'm good. Hit me back in a week. Great. What's a good day? And you say, I should have an order ready to go in that next week too. And set yourself a little reminder on your calendar or put it in your planner. And that way you reach back out to Marcy when she needs something, right? Don't forget, because if you forget, you're not gonna get the sale, right? So that's one, one, three. There is the two, 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 which is two days, two weeks, two months. It's kind of up to you how you want to work it, but I always have done the one, one, three. I don't know why, I just have. It seems to make more sense to me, um, but you decide. And we have a few options that you can do follow up with. And this is really important. And you guys might think, oh, this is, this is not important right now, Erin. I just started. This is, this is not important to me. I haven't even gotten my first client yet. But this is going to be important because so many people start Sensi and don't have a follow-up system. If you put one in place and you have it when you need it, you're going to be loving life because you're going to have what I have been told is effortless sales. I love that saying. Because effortless, effortless sales are where easy money comes from. And who doesn't love easy money, right? So there we go. Have your system in place. All right, so there's a few options, like I was saying. There is a program called Maven. There is an app. And from what I understand, and if they, if they change it, I apologize. But for the first 30 days, as a new consultant, you get to try Maven. That is still true, Amanda? Okay, good. She's always up in the know with that. God, she's good. <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna get on here, make sure Aaron hears me. <laughs> so Maven, okay, is a program that is a app-based based program. Um, I have an iPhone. I don't know if you can use it on Android, but I know that you can use it on Apple. Um, it is a program that connects you with your contacts on your workstation. So they are conjoined. For that first month, you get that for free. For any months following, it's $7.99 a month. And it will tell you when to follow up with people. Like they ordered on your website, send them a thank you note. 
they placed an order, it's been a while since they ordered, reach out. It will tell you and it gives you verbiage for a text message or an email or a Facebook message. Or if you only have their phone number, you'd have to pick up the phone. But it gives you ideas for what you could say. Maven is wonderful. It's a wonderful product. If you do not feel the need for that right now, it's totally okay. I suggest order forms and a binder or order forms and dividers. I've had this little itty bitty binder for years and I got it at Target. They don't make them anymore. It S-U-C-K-S is, as I always have to spell out in my household with my toddlers but they don't have these anymore. I would suggest finding something similar to this if you like little things like I do, or if you just wanna go and get a big you know, notebook size. Um, but these are great. You can um, put your order forms inside. You can say you know, what needs to be ordered, what's been ordered, what needs to, you send a thank you note, pending delivery. There's all kinds of, all kinds of information. Uh, about the binder system on the workstation and um, pretty much you go into your um, workstation it says creating a follow-up system you actually can pull it up and um, and it gives you ex the explanation with the binder system so there's maven and then there's the binder system Sensi has recently provided us with sales reporting so we can go into our workstation, go under the reporting tab. It's my favorite tab now. And it literally has a little box that says reorder. And you can click on reorder and you can choose three months, zero to three months. You could choose one to four months. You could choose, if you've been with Cincy for a year, you could choose zero to 12. It will give you everyone that ha needs to order that has well, let's do one month. Who has either ordered within the last month to out to 12 months? So it's gonna be a huge list of people. And then you can export it into Excel. So as long as you have Excel on your computer, you can export it to Excel. You can, you'll get an entire list of everyone that has ever purchased from you in that one month to 12 month list, um, span, time frame. That gives you a free way to follow up, no paper, except I like to print mine because I, I just do. Um, and you'll print it. I did not put grid lines on this one, but you can put grid lines on it and it comes out looking like this. So you have your pages of people that you can send text messages to, call them, email them, um, to request them to purchase from you again, right? You find out where they're at, either the 113 or the 222, and you decide who you're reaching out to and um, hopefully getting sales from that. Follow-up is the easiest and what I have always called the low-hanging fruit. It's going to be what's going to give you your easiest sale is the follow-up, people that are already buying from you. Okay, definitely creating a follow-up system is key. Launch event is key. Okay. How do we get paid? We like to get paid, don't we, Carla? <laughs> okay, so you have what we call a Sensi Pay Card. You'll get that in the mail. You can use that as an ATM card or a Visa card. Um, and you can actually get cash back too. If you have, obviously you have the, card, the money on the card. Okay, so when we get paid, it's always on the 10th. Most of the time it's early. Three or sometimes three days, sometimes two days early. Just FYI. This, this month we get paid on the 7th, which was awesome. So you get the money in your pay portal it'll immediately transfer to where you want it to go. So you tell the pay portal, transfer to my pay card, or you can transfer some to your pay card and some to your bank account, or you can transfer it all to your bank account. I personally love having it on my pay card, and then I wanna make the, if I need the money on the card, 
so and have immediate access. Otherwise, it does take about a business day to get it to your bank account, um, which is another great reason why it's, we get paid early too. So sometimes I like to have immediate access to that cash. So, um, but if you choose not to use the card, that's totally okay. You'd have it in your bank account. Okay, it does take one day though, usually. And, um, and you can look at your pay portal and you can also make any changes on your pay portal on your, through your workstation. You just go up to the right hand corner when you've signed in and it does say pay portal. You'll get all your login information. I think it comes via email. It may come in the snail mail. It's been a long time, you guys, I'm sorry. Um, but you'll get a letter with your card and I'll have your, um, you can set up a pen number just like any old ATM card. Okay, uh, so for those of you that are interested in what you can sign up for as a consultant, we do have the scent of the month and the warmer of the month. Those are monthly subscriptions uh, alongside your, your website, but your website you won't have to worry about paying for for three months, right? You can sign up immediately. You have until the 28th of the month to sign up for the month following. So if you sign up this month, by the 28th of this month, you'll get next month's scent of the month or warmer of the month. Okay. And we do have, if you just do a search on your workstation or on our group, you can actually look to see what the scent of the month and warmer of the month looks like. And, um, but usually I'll, I'll like I said, I'll, I, I post it on our, um, on our group page almost as soon as it comes out. Um, just so everybody knows what it looks like and the scent and that's exciting to see but that isn't something you're going to want to tell your clients about because you want to make sure you're concentrating on the sales for this month so once it gets closer to the end of the month that's when you can start talking up the the new stuff okay make sure i don't miss anything oh Subscription. So the subscription, the changes that you would make to your subscriptions is under your accounts tab on your workstation. That is going to be where you'll be able to change um, your website information, your payment information for your website, and you can enroll, upgrade, or downgrade for your um, for your uh, scent or warmer and scent of the month. So I will tell you when I first joined. I did not sign up for the scent or warmer of the month for I think a year. It, it, I didn't do it as soon as possible, but there are plenty of people who have joined Scentsy strictly to get that perk. So that's um, $35 plus tax. We do get PRV, that's the scent of the month. The warmer of the month varies with cost because the warmer is sometimes more expensive or less expensive. So um, you'll just wanna be on the lookout for the breakdown of how much it is per month. But I wanna say it's usually around $70, $70 you get, um, gosh, if I have it, I don't think I have it printed out. It's nine bars, I don't have it printed. Nine bars, room spray, tester, you get 72 scratch and sniff stickers. Oh, the monthly flyers. I think that's it. I think. Okay. Yeah. So not nine bars, tester, room spray, scratches of stickers, monthly flyers, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. And um, and that's 35. So you consider $35 for a room spray and nine bars. That's pretty substantial savings. And then you can make samples with it. You can share it. Oh, the puppy dog. It's so sweet. <laughs> um, you can share it. Uh, with people before it becomes available. You can sell it before it becomes available if you want to. Um, the warmer is great if you're gonna, if you know you have people who are gonna love it, you're gonna wanna get it to a party that you're gonna have the very beginning of the month or something. That's a really great idea uh, for, for a reason to get the warmer of the month. But it is not something you have to do. You never ever have to sign up for anything, including not, not a good choice, but including your website. You do not have to have a Sensi website, but it is highly recommended. Okay, where are we at on time? 
All right, it's 8.15. So <clears throat> we started at seven. It's 8.15. I don't think I wanna take this any longer. Um, I am going to try and, since this is my first time doing this, I'm going to try and slim it down for the next one. But I do wanna talk about the types of parties and hostess coaching. Those are very important things. So if you do not get a chance to jump on our next one, definitely looking at what types of parties we do. And very important is host coaching. And um, I highly suggest looking at that. There is a checklist that I'm going to um, post on our team page so that you have more information on hostess coaching, what that includes and why it's important. Um, and the following up. The following up, I'm glad I went over that for sure first because it's very important. It's going to be your easy, easy money for sure. And um, getting that in place um, early on is it's incredibly important. So uh, I think that's it for tonight. Uh, I did record this, so I will have this available if you wanted to review it. And uh, for those of you that uh, don't know, we do have a uh, new consultant training. It's going to be every two weeks. So um, those of you that are interested in joining in, you can do it all over again. I am going to go over, sorry, if you can hear my kids. I will go over the majority of this information again, but I do hope to slim it down and include a little bit more information next time. Okay? So I hope everybody has a little bit more information than they had when they first started this Zoom and you found value in it. And does anybody have any questions before we log out? No? Okay. Well, obviously everybody here can speak with their sponsor. Uh, that would be your first point of contact. Something that's very important is to never let somebody else step on your sponsor's toes. So make sure you always go to your sponsor. If you do not feel comfortable for any reason, you can always go to your director, who would be the, the next person on your um, workstation. And um, I, I am a star director. We also have Lisa, who's a star director. And then we have Rachel, who is a superstar director. So we have a wide variety of experienced people that can help if there's relationships that don't jive, it's okay. So just know that you can always come to me. Uh, I am here to support you and uh, but give your sponsor the opportunity to help too, okay? So I hope everybody has a wonderful night and uh, I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.